Holy shit. Did a lot of people in my last video mention that I should get the Venom Blood perk from Invention instead of farming anti-poisons? Alright, so I looked into it and it seems like I figured it out. It seems extremely easy. I have the perk here. I'm not going to disassemble that. That would be really bad. But yeah, I have the perk here. Venom blood and like shield bashing is just nothing really. Uh, and I have an augmenter and I am going to augment my legs. And I was kind of scared about doing this at first because these are not like... Uh, they don't break. So they're infinite value, you could say. Uh, but if I go into manufacture here... If it turns out that I need to remove my augmenter because I can't get divine energy or divine, yeah, charge is what it's called, I can just make a dissolver because it costs one vial and like these parts which I have a lot of. So uh, that's not going to be a problem and I'm going to augment my legs real quick. Let's do that and uh, put the perk on. Let's do that as well. Do I just put it on? And uh, that seems to be the way you do it. So now we have uh, immunity to poisons forever. That's actually absolutely amazing. That uh, makes me possible to keep one more inventory slot open as well on Araxor because I've always had to use these uh, anti-poisons, which has been really annoying to do. So that is really, really cool. Also, I have made so many... Well, I'm making so many super restores, so I can actually do quite a lot of Araxor in this video, which I hope will turn out to be uh, another leg piece in my bank. So I just looted two uncut onyxes from Araxor on my third kill and unfortunately I pressed away because I'm a bit stupid sometimes but yeah anyways we did actually get 300 reaper points on that assignment. On point even. So now I can actually get a reaper necklace which is really cool and the fact that I did get two uncut onyxes is pretty good because I need one of those to make the reaper necklace I'm quite sure of that. But anyways let's like make the uh, necklace but first got asked by underfletch right here if I wanted to do a beast master kill so we're going to do that first. Alright, this is the loot for my third beast monster kill. Nothing too interesting, but another kill down and the tech is always really good. So as I promised, we're now going to make the Reaper necklace. I went and bought the Hydrix and I made the Hydrix necklace. So let's now enchant it and get that Reaper necklace. Wait, how much experience? 97 experience! Well, that's cheap of you, Jagex. But yeah, that's the Reaper necklace. It has worse stats than my uh, Amulet of Souls, but what it does is that it stacks up a currency and a currency on Araxi is... Very good. It's extremely good, especially when I have my Sun Spear, which doesn't really have the best accuracy in the game. So this is a very good necklace. I'm going to definitely try it out on Araxi. If I feel like it's not as good as the Amulet of Souls with my current gear, then I'll just go back to that. But it's very good to have it at least. Oh my god! That's how we do it! On the last kill of the trip, I got a leg piece, and it's the bottom one, which I think is the most annoying path to do. And at the same time, we get a Triskillion Fragment. By the way, this is kill 5 of the trip, and I don't think I can do more. You can see I have 2,000, well, 2, 3k HP left, and I have uh, one sip of Saradomi Flask. Yeah, that's pretty close. Uh, I also did use my Reaper Necklace. Uh, I think it works pretty good, but at the same time on the bottom path you do lose the buff when you do all the thing, you know, the, the second phase, whatever. Uh, you don't really hit anything during that phase, so you kind of lose the buff. That kind of sucks, but that's really good. That's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to bank that. I'm not going to pet chance that. That's also number three Triskelion key, so I can get a free Elite Clue Scroll. So we're going to do that now, and by the way, everyone who whispers me, thank you so much. Let's see what we get from that elite clue scroll from the three Triskelion pieces, unlock that real quick, and while well, we can reroll it, it's absolutely abysmal, 122k, I think my worst elite is like 80k, so it's not the worst, but it's not very good at all, so I'm going to reroll that, confirm, into, wow, that's a lot of shit, alright, well, it's better, it's like, what, double the reward plus 40k, but nothing too special, I guess, it's a pretty standard elite clue scroll. Now, as I only need two Cyrenic Scales to be able to get the Cyrenic Leggings, I'm actually going to be doing all the keys that I have in my bank. Unfortunately, the only keys that I need now is the Quintus and the Sextus ones, and I have zero Quintus and I have four Sextus, and that's the ones I have here. If I'm lucky enough to get a Signet on the Sextus ones, I'm going to be extremely, extremely happy, but if I don't, two Cyrenic Scales from all these keys that I have is absolutely fine. Alright, this video is officially ridiculous. On the last key... I get the signet. All right. I have no words. There's actually no words for my absolute insane luck in this video. Holy shit. All right. I only need one signet more. One signet. And that's the Quintus one. And maybe if I do all the, key the keys that I have now, I might get like a Quintus key or anything that I might have a chance of getting the signet. Holy shit. I need one more signet. Also, I did get a scale on that one as well. So, 
Wow, holy shit. All right, so I did finish up all the Primus keys and I did get one scale from that. So I have enough now to make the legs. Now I'm not going to make them and instantly equip them because I want to augment them so I can uh, recharge it with uh, divine charges instead of having to make them completely break and then make new ones with 28 scales. I think that's the best thing I can do. And then also I need to put the Venom Blood perk on them so I can actually use them for our axe or so I'm now going to craft them and uh, well, we only need the chest now, and that is, I think, 42 scales. I might be wrong, but I think that's how it is. So I'm not going to equip it now. I'm going to augment them and put Venom Blood on it, and then I can use it. So that's pretty sweet. Apparently you need 36 divine charges to be able to actually augment them at all. I do have the augmenter, but I do not have any divine charges. So I think I'm just going to go and just farm the shit out of Brilliant Wisps, which is the uh, tier 80 ones. And I'll just try to grind out 36 divine charges, and when I do have that, I'm going to augment them. And after that, I'll try to get the Venom Blood perk, and hopefully I'm not too unlucky with that. It's actually fairly interesting to realize that farming 16,000 of these energies was actually not that bad. It only took like two and a half hours and that is 36 of these divine charges. And that's actually a lot of time added to invention. And I felt like the problem in the future would be to keep uh, all the charges up. But I don't think it's going to be a problem at all. So that's pretty cool and I now can make these leggings. Let's do that real quick. How much experience am I going to get? Uh, 100. Alright, it's the same as uh, Enchant Onyx, I guess, on the necklace. It's nothing interesting. Alright, so we now have the Augmented Cyrenic Chaps. That's actually so cool. Look at these. It looks so good. Uh, so now I need to get the, uh, the Venom Blood perk. I'm just going to do that on my own. And uh, just trust me, I'll have it in the future. Conveniently enough, the last leg piece that I need is the top one, and that path just opened today, so I'm going to be doing a bit of Araxor, and the first kill actually gave me a pheromone, so that is my third pheromone, and uh, well, I actually think I have two now with this in the bank, because I already used one to reset the enrage. I might do that today as well, and try to do as many kills as possible. Uh, obviously, if I do get a full leg piece in the near future, I still do need the hilt, meaning the web, the eye, or the fang, but as, like, if I would get a leg piece and finish that leg, holy shit, that would be amazing. So I think I did like six kills on Araxi overall and I didn't get anything. So I just thought, I'm going to do a quest instead. And I did the... Okay, let's see if I can pronounce this now. Enakras Lament. Yeah, I think that was pretty good actually. So uh, that's the quest I completed and uh, I'm going to explain why. So basically the quest rewards are not that great. But, I've actually never had a camlet before, so that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what it does. I have actually no idea what it does. But, um, the reason to why I did it was because, if we scroll all the way down here, the next step I kind of want to do is the Ritual of the Majorat. And that was one of the requirements. You can see that. It's now done. And I need the Slug Menance. And then I need Rocking Out. And then I have pretty much everything for a huge quest like this, and that feels really good. Obviously the big thing was while well, Guthix sleeps, and I did just complete that in my last video. So yeah, we're getting close to this one as well, and when this is done, I can do glaciers and all that kind of stuff, so that's really cool. Kinda wanna work towards that slowly, and uh, we'll get there in time. Kind of felt like completing more than one quest, and I did complete the Slug Menace quest, so we're going to just talk to this guy right here, and we're going to be completing it. Now, I only need to do two more quests after this. Let's see what the reward is first, though, because I have absolutely no clue. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a conversation here before I get the reward, but um, the only quest we need now is Rocking Out, and for that you need the Great... A brain robbery quest, so I, that's the two quests that we'll be needing to do. Nothing else, no uh, level requirements, nothing like that, so it shouldn't be any problems at all. Access to melee proselyte armor. I've never had that in my entire life, ever. The experience is not too great, I don't think I got any levels for that, let's see if I did. No, I did not. Uh, but yeah, only two more quests and I can do uh, Ritual of the Majorat, so that's really cool. Alright people, so we're going to be ending the video with a random Araxi loot, I haven't looted it yet, so we're going to do that in just a second. But before that, I just wanted to make this clip to show that I'm going to be starting an insane Araxi farm until I do get that leg piece. I'm going to be completely focusing on Araxi, I do have actually banked like... 15 overload flasks from kills and then I have a ton of uh, restore potions so I have all that figured out. I also have like 50 overload potions for those so I have everything just covered and I have so many 
the cavefish in the bank that I fished off video. So I'm really ready for this and I'm going to be extending my sharpshooter aura. I'm going to use my three pheromones to reset the enrage and I'm just going to go full ha ham for that lake piece. And hopefully I do get it in the near future. But we're going to be ending the video with this first loot and let's see what we get. And we get two southern scales. That's actually not bad at all. That's a pretty good loot to be starting off the trip with. But I thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please leave a like. And see you in the next one, guys. Take care. And the next video is going to be my 100th Iron Man video. That's actually really cool. And if you've been here since, like, any time in my series, you know, if you're new to this series, welcome and everything. But if you've been here, like, from the middle or anywhere, like, from any time back in the days, you're a cool-ass dude. And I thank you so much for hanging around, you know. It's really cool. But anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.